How's it going, everybody? Mark with Veg. We're doing a bok choy recipe with Michael Zonfarelli. I hope I didn't butcher it too not bad. bad. Not bad. Anyways, we're at his home in beautiful La Costa. He's going to show us how to make this awesome cleansing soup. And I don't know if my face is in the frame, but we're going to intro Michael. <laughs> Hi. So, yeah, uh, I've been really enjoying the, the veg setup for the winter harvest. Um, and uh, today we're going to show you how to use some of the ingredients. We're going to do a super healthy cleansing uh, bok choy and garlic soup with some fresh ginger, some fresh turmeric, parsley from the garden, fennel from the garden, bok choy from the garden. Uh, we're going to pair it up with some of uh, kombucha uh, that I, uh, I make on the side. Yeah. Say the, say the name. So what's the company name? Kombucha Kombucha. It's really delicious. Kombucha, I'm not a kombucha, kombucha guy and it's freaking delicious. We'll say more about it later, but we're gonna go to the garden and show you guys how to harvest and come back in. Yeah, winter harvest going on. We're gonna make a cleansing bok choy and garlic soup today. Um, you can see my, my garden's a little jungly. Uh, we have some sugar snap peas here. Tomatoes are ripening in the middle of winter, go figure it. Um, we're gonna harvest this bok choy right here. Look at that beauty, a nice baby bok choy. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead with these kitchen shears and give it a little snip. Look at that. You know, a couple pine needles. It's organic. Put that right there. And then uh, we're going to grab some fresh parsley right off the top. Nice. And then around back we have some baby fennel. Look at that. So, you know, you can harvest the whole bowl, but, but today we're just going to be utilizing what's sprouting out the top. We're going to use all that in the soup. We're going to use the firm stem and then the fronds like an herb. Nice. Let's go make some soup. All right. Start doing this in. Okay. So, Michael's going to go over the ingredients that you're going to need for this. Um, starting over here. So, what yeah, is this guy? really, I mean, this is a really minimal recipe. It's, it's, uh, Supposed to be very basic, very cleansing. Um, we have a Portuguese olive oil here, bok choy from the garden, a little ginger root, some fresh turmeric root. You could always use some organic dry if you like. Some gar lots of garlic here, uh, a lime from the garden, and some parsley and fennel. And what if they don't have Portuguese olive oil? <laughs> uh, any olive oil would be just fine. Okay. Just fine. It's what I had on the <laughs> shelf. It's fine. Italian, Spanish, uh, no problem. Uh, we're also going to be using some uh, organic vegetable stock as well. That's the only ingredient that's not out here. So as you can see, pretty basic stuff. Yeah, it looks really fresh. Looks really good. I'm excited in here. Michael's going to show you how to actually prepare, uh, prepare the ingredients for this. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna do just a little choppy choppy here um, for the ginger and the turmeric. Um, I don't know if you guys have used fresh turmeric before, but uh, available at Vons now of all places. Really gorgeous. You know, maybe you're used to seeing it like that, um, but a lot more fresh, a lot more vibrant. Um, it is definitely the hottest superfood right now. Uh, turmeric root. Um, a nice little trick for turmeric and ginger is just take a little spoon to it, and look how easily it feels like that um, instead of having to take away a lot of the flesh with a peeler. Yeah, just take a little bit of that skin off there. Look how easy that is. Oh. That's pretty impressive. That's just a normal spoon, not a sharpened <laughs> no, prison not spoon, a, right? It's not a fancy chef spoon. No, it's just a spoon from my drawer. Um, and then for the garlic, we're going to slice it, but for the ginger and turmeric, I want that a little bit finer, and I like to use the microplane grater. It's really nice. Um, instead of having to mince something really small, just, just take it on that grater. This turmeric will stain anything it touches, if you care about that. That looks like plenty for our recipe right there. And we'll hit up our garlic, or our ginger, rather. Look how easy that is. Mm. This also breaks down, sometimes ginger can be very fibrous, so this really takes care of that too. Great. And then for the garlic, I love to, um, I love to see sliced garlic in dishes. Um, it does need to be very thin, uh, so it's not, not too offensive uh, on, the, on the garlickiness. Um, but you know, just go ahead and hold your garlic and then you're just really trying to get paper thin slices. Kind of like that, I'm sliding my finger back and just shaving it. You should be able to get 
20, 25 slices off a clove of garlic here. That's impressive. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Do another one. Yeah, keep your fingers safe on this one. Yeah, you see how they're curled back? And I'm just sliding the blade right up against my knuckle. Nice and thin, like paper. And how many of those are we gonna do? We're gonna do them all. Oh, okay, okay. Um, this is a crazy, this is really like a, a health, crazy healthy cleansing soup. Uh, so we're, there's not any onion in it, which I usually use in soups, but we're really just gonna let the aromatics here, the garlic, the turmeric, and the ginger really pack all the flavor in there. It has so much flavor, if you wanted to use this water instead of vegetable stock, you can. Um, but we're just gonna do the vegetable stock for a little more of that flavor. All right, and we're gonna cut, so we're not boring you guys with uh, just garlic slicing uh, to the next I'm step. Gonna oh, you're you're stop I'm gonna finish before you stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. I lied, the other camera actually ran out of battery, so we're charging it, so. <laughs> um, the veg way though, right? Be resourceful. So Michael, take it away on the next steps. Yeah, so harvested, uh, I trimmed off some of the outer leaves, harvested these beautiful bok choys uh, from the garden. You know, you can see they're, they're still fairly baby in size. Um, they're really nice and tender this way. Um, so we're gonna treat the white and the green a little bit differently. We're gonna cook them at different steps so we don't overcook either one of them. The white takes a little bit longer to cook. So for the green, just give it a little roll. And we're just gonna go ahead and give it a little chiffonade. Say that again? A chiffonade. Basically it means ribbon. Gotcha. Okay, hey, I'm learning stuff right now as well. Yeah, and then for the whites. This is kind of a treat because, uh, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt on the no, whites. No problem. And then we're basically gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna keep them separate because we're gonna cook them at different times. Yeah, it's a treat for uh, for me especially because I know I know how to grow veggies. I'm just not that great at cooking them. So this is nice being on the other side. Yeah, really nice. So that's how we're gonna do our bok choy. Like I said, we're gonna keep them separate. That looks beautiful. Because right. most of the time people use it as like a full leaf, right? Or uh, like if they're sautéing it. Yeah, or something. they do. They do it whole. Um, so that's but, but this look. is a really quick cooking soup. So you know we're just gonna go ahead and and uh, get everything cut nice and small. I even have the stock warm on the stove. We really want all the nutrients of this. This isn't like your grandma's been on the stove all day kind of soup. This one comes together in a matter of minutes. Yeah, and bok choy is one of the, it has so many antioxidants in it. Incredible. You, I yeah. was just reading about that and um, yeah, I knew it was good for you, but I didn't know it was that good for you. Yeah, according to, uh, I don't know, whatever vegetable top list for superfoods you read, it's usually one of the top Top three, I think, in terms of nutrients, antioxidants, health benefits. Wow, right. that looks really good. But everything between that and the turmeric and the lime and the ginger, I mean, it's really, this is really packing a punch. I'm pretty excited because this is uh, this is a Friday, so mm -hmm. go into the weekend healthy. Yeah, for the parsley, just gonna give it a quick roll, almost like we did the greens. You don't need to cut this too small. And you're yeah. just gonna do the stem too. Correct. So, yeah, I, I already took off some of the, the bottom stem, the firm okay. stuff, but you know, I don't really freak out about those tender stems that are just around the leaf. You, you know, <laughs> at culinary school, we used to teach, oh, you need to pick all those leaves off and no stem. And, no, that's such a hassle. We're, that's cooking, the, we're, we're cooking at home, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> so, the coolest yeah. technique is rolling. Right. That's pretty clean. Yeah, I've never um, thought of that. And you know, we're going to add that right at the end, um, as we will with this fennel. Uh, you know, Mark and I were talking about how a lot of people just use the fennel bulb. Uh, you know, I've got the bulb still growing out there and you know, we're just gonna use the tops um, as a nice little herb to finish that soup. Yeah, I love the rolling technique, that's great. This keeps everything nice and tight. You don't wanna really crush it. This is, I'm looking at this in this shot, all of these things, this is something I can do, so I'm pretty stoked. I like chopping. I don't know if you consider that chopping, it's more of a, what did you say? Uh, a, sh a chiffonade, where you take <laughs> a the, the leafy green or basil or an herb, and you're basically just cutting those nice little ribbons. So really, I mean, the vegetable stock's on the stove, but this is all we're putting in the soup. Really basic. Some good olive oil. We're going to sweat our aromatics. We're going to add the harder, firmer stem. We're going to let that get just tender. We're going to finish with the greens, the herb, a squeeze of lemon, and we're going to eat it. That's it. Nice and quick, about 10 minutes. So excited. All right, we're going to show you guys in a sec. 
we're gonna cut to uh, actually cooking now. So we did the prep work. Looks beautiful. I'm stoked. That took zero time for me to film <laughs> and learn some great new techniques. Um, so yeah, we'll get to the cooking portion. Two tablespoons. And we're gonna cook this real quick. I even have the uh, vegetable stock right there, warm, ready to go. Gonna turn that up a little bit. Yeah, and what are the settings that you have? Oh, um, you know, medium high. Um, you know, th I was telling Mark before, this isn't, you know, a, a slow cooked soup. This is gonna go real quick. So to start up the flavor, um, maybe just a little more olive oil. There's really no fat in here besides the olive oil. And that's everyone's favorite fat. And we're going to start with the aromatics. Again, we just slice some garlic. Um, we have grated turmeric and fresh ginger. And when you said sweat earlier, oh, <laughs> explain yeah. what you meant. So I, I'm not trying to get any color on this. Uh, when, you, when you saute something, it's quick, it's hot. You get some color. When we sweat, we're extracting the, the flavor by cooking at a lower temperature. Uh, a little bit slower so we're not looking to brown this we're just looking to kind of get it all happy um, and you know it's gonna start to smell really good and once you get that aroma coming out of the pan you know you're ready for the next step yeah so that's gonna come up um, again we have some uh, just some organic vegetable stock there the garlic's getting nice and translucent Can you smell that David mm. you know? yeah that smells insane like good insane. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just gonna get a close up. So people yeah, can see. please. Let me move that spoon for you. Yeah, it looks great. Nice. You know, a lot of times I use onion and soup. You certainly could here, or a shallot. But really, with the garlic, the ginger, the turmeric, you have a lot of that aromatic. And then the the white part of the bok choy is gonna take just a little bit longer to cook. Uh, so I just wanna just give that a minute or two, maybe a minute, since we're filming, um, just to soften a little bit. And when you're softening something like this, you know, it's okay. It's, it's good to season at the end, but a little bit of salt in the beginning helps the vegetables soften even better. So a nice little pinch of salt, a little crack of pepper. Nice. Awesome. And why do you add the white part first? So yeah, it's, 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 more fibrous, it's more firm. So we're basically just giving it that extra minute just to soften it a little bit more. If you were gonna cook, you know, if you wanted to cook this soup longer, um, I don't recommend it because we want it to be real fresh and we want the nutrients to be there. Um, but if you cooked it longer, it would all even out. Um, it's just gonna allow the greens to stay nice and vibrant. All right, we're gonna add our stock. Nice. Good. That was about two or three cups of stock, depending on how much you're trying to make. And we barely need to bring that to a simmer because it already was simmering. Okay, we're going to add all our fennel fronds, fresh parsley in there. Nice. With my fancy plastic uh, ladle here. It's beautiful soup. Right, and how long did that take to cook? Like five minutes? Not maybe, even. F maybe five minutes choppy choppy and five minutes on the stove. Yeah. Um, great lunch. Like literally everything you put into that was mm. either off the garden or fresh, not out of anything yeah. else. That was, yeah. that's insane. You know, it's funny, but poor bok choy always gets relegated to uh, stir fries and Asian dishes, but um, 